As fun as it is going out on the big water, out in the big boat, there's just something special about going back to your roots, traveling through northern Wisconsin, back of the woods, small bodies of water, tiny lakes, in a small boat, in a canoe, in a kayak, whatever your vibe is. Traveling through the Northwoods, it's such a beautiful place. It's late August, entering early September. Fall vibes are hitting hard, the leaves are starting to change. It's absolutely beautiful up here in God's country. Today, we are traveling up to a small body of water out in the middle of nowhere. The goal for today is to get into some big panfish and just enjoy the scenery around us. What is going on everybody? Welcome back to NB Edits. We are up here in God's country, a beautiful lake behind us. We just unloaded the new canoe. Nick and I got the Frontier 12 out here with us today. We got both seats rigged up. We're gonna be going for some panfish. One vessel, that's all we're using. We thought about bringing both kayaks, but you know what, we figured beautiful lake. Why not just enjoy it? We're going to get out here together, hopefully film an awesome video for you guys. We're entering that fall stage of the year. We're going to be going for some big panfish. This lake has really nice bluegills, some nice bass, and most importantly, a really good population of crappie. So we're going to go ahead. We've got everything rigged up. Let's get out there. Let's go do this thing. Well, you guys, we have made it out. A little interesting getting off the water because the water seems like it's a little low and we are in a kayak, but absolutely gorgeous out here. I'm getting a free ride, chilling out here in the front. I didn't bring a paddle, so Brandon's doing all the, the manly uh, lifting today, but that's all right. Absolutely gorgeous. I mean, if I turn the camera around, not a drop of wind in sight, not a very big lake. Got a little loon right there. Always a good sign to see a loon. That means there's fish in the lake. I haven't fished here yet this year, and I'm excited. This brings me back to the roots. Uh, this is one of the first lakes I ever fished growing up with my dad. We would come here mainly because the fish population in this lake is just loaded. It was always fun come here, catch some crappies, catch some bass. And really, this is what made me fall in love with fishing. So always coming back here and uh, just hammering fish is, Brings me back to a good, special place in my life. So, really excited to be out here. We haven't even picked up a rod, so hopefully I'm not just anticipating this being absolutely insane, but yeah, it's gorgeous, so it's already been a good day. Today, what we are going to be starting off with, we are using lighter tackle, obviously. We are mainly going for panfish. What I'm gonna be starting off the day with is just a little Northwind tackle hair jig, a 16th ounce, and uh, that should probably do it. We do have some like Mr. Twisters, some other like ice fishing plastics with us as well. Before we start, I know we do a terrible job of telling you guys our equipment setup. Today, specifically because we are going for panfish, today we are using one of our favorite reels on the market for panfish. This is the Carbon X. This is actually the second model of this. This is the Carbon X2 in the 1000 series. Uh, mainly, we use these for ice fishing. That's basically when we go for panfish. But today we are going for panfish in the open water. So that requires an ultralight rod, which requires an ultralight reel. And honestly, guys, we have been using these reels for the last couple years. They're one of the most solid, affordable, good reels on the market. So if you guys are interested in picking up a new reel for this ice season, or if you guys are big pan fishermen, definitely check out the PC Fun Carbon X. Like I said, we've been using it for years. Absolutely love it. And if you guys go down in the link in our description, go to their website and use code NBEdits18, you guys can save 18% off on your total order, not just this reel, anything you guys find on the site. So definitely go ahead, check that out. It's a great deal. And uh, yeah, that's kind of what we're starting the day off with. We just got to the first spot. We're gonna start casting and hopefully start hammering some fish. Alrighty guys, we're out here. Like Nick was saying, we're throwing the hair jigs. Got a orange and sartreuse colored 16th ounce hair jig from BMC. And we are gonna be just sticking to the weed edges, trying to find some downed trees. They like to sit right on the edge of these lily pads. Sometimes some of those sunken logs is what gets a lot of these fish to sit on. I'm gonna move us back just a little bit here. There we go. The thing that I like about this time of year is they're fairly predictable as long as you've got decent weather. Once you can kind of start to dial in a fish's patterns, 
during this time of the year it gets a little bit easier what we got here crappie or a bass looks like a bass there we go god <laughs> absolute tank this lake is known for having whoo come here buddy a lot of bass in it and unfortunately there's not a really really big ones small little large mouth just a tiny little dink a lot of the bass in here because there's not any other game fish they are stunted don't really catch a lot of big bass out of here but the bluegills and the crappies are usually pretty nice so there we go first fish small little bass nothing too crazy but that's what we're doing again just sticking to the weed edge a lot of lily pads in this lake as you can tell even right here behind me this is pretty shallow but we've got a beaver dam hut there's a lot of sunken logs and stuff like that in here and that's what we're going to be doing is basically just going down patrolling the edges of the lake and we just got to figure out are they shallow or are they deep are we going to stick to the deeper edges find that structure and that's where the fish should be schooled up so let's get it back out there and See if we can get another one. We got the GoPro hooked up. It's kind of at an awkward angle, so hopefully you guys can see both of us. But considering we are in a kayak, we have no way to really mount the thing. Fish. Is this the right species? No. Yes. Yes it is and it's a nice one. Oh god, that's a tank. Oh man. We don't have a net either. No net, that's a big one. Come on. Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> Let's go. Well. <laughs> Let me take this jig out. First crappie of the day. And uh, that ain't a bad one. That's probably a nice, like, that might be close to 14 inches, honestly. Growing up, we used to catch a lot of this size, believe it or not. Um, but it wasn't like huge numbers. And then over the last couple years, this lake has really started to take over with like good year classes. I don't know why the spawn has gotten better, but we don't see many of them this size really anymore. But Beautiful first crappie. Oh, Brandon pulled us off the spot just a little bit because we didn't want to blow into it. We got the wind behind our back here. But we're gonna go ahead. I'm gonna take a few pictures of this one. Gotta show the old pops that uh, there's still some nice crappie in here. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna put it on a stringer. We're not keeping any fish today, um, but we are gonna take a few pictures and then uh, we'll get the release a little later. But yeah, found the crappies. Didn't take us terribly long. Hit it right away off the bottom and uh, yeah, good start to the day. Hopefully this won't be the last one of this size. There you go. Ooh, that looks like a good one, eh? Yeah, it's fighting. Could be a bluegill. I think it is. Not a super big one, but probably like a six, seven incher. Funny thing about this lake, this is actually the lake where Brandon had caught his PV bluegill out of. Uh, man, that had to have been probably five years at this point, but Brandon ended up catching an 11 and a half inch bluegill that he did get mounted. If you guys are curious to see um, the old NB edits and you haven't checked out some of our older stuff, um, the quality is probably not as good as what you see now, but there is an 11 and a half inch bluegill in there. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna like put one of those cards up so you guys can go ahead and check that out if you want. Otherwise, I'll post a picture right here so you can see the true size of this thing. But the main goal is crappie today. But um, if we're going to catch like an occasional 10, 11 inch bluegill on the side, I'm not going to be mad. There's one. Crappie. Holy cow. Nice little crappie for me. Probably about a third of the size of the one that Nick just caught, but uh, you know what? Not a bad fish, just under keeper size. But again, this is kind of what Nick was talking about year class wise, this lake is thriving now and we've got a lot of them. This, I'd say this is on the smaller side, but between this size and that like 10, 11 inch range, 
a lot of them in here. We don't see a ton of giants that are that 13, 14 inch size, but they are still in here. And luckily Nick got one. Go ahead and get this guy back. But uh, yeah, first one for me, not bad. Oh, crappie. Oh, I just had one too. Oh, and mine flew off, shoot. Oh, right to the side of the yak. I didn't even make mine that far, but I saw him. Oh boy, look at that. He's running. <laughs> Pretty nice one. Not bad. Maybe the biggest bluegill of the day. Not terribly big, but nice, I don't know, seven, eight incher. No idea where the crappies have gone. We've gotten a few like here and there, but definitely not as hot and heavy as I thought. But we still got a little bit of lake to fish that we have not touched yet today. Seems like once we find them, we find fish. That was violent for a little bass. See you later. Well, we have found everything else besides the crop currently. Wow. Holy. Brandon, I'm going to need you to get your line out of my way. <laughs> <coughs> that thing was all sorts of revved up. Big bass. That's a nice large mouth for out of here. Yeah, not bad. Not a bad bass. That one was... <laughs> Taking the old thousand series for a good run there. Nice drag pulling, but I don't know, not too big, probably only 16 inches, but fun little fight on the ultra light tackle. Oh, oh God, what do you got? Oh, oh my God, Brandon's having the same problem. <laughs> Another dog. <laughs> Oh, another nice one, the old yak. It's been on the slower side for the crappie. Oh God, grab it. Jesus. Dude. No. Not a giant, but out of this lake, that's a pretty good one. Go ahead, get him back. See you later, buddy. I uh, managed to drop my rod in the water. Luckily, it's like five, six feet here, and we could see it, but uh, got a little crazy. I unhooked him, and it's a little tight with two people in the yak, you know, so I went to slide out of the way as Nick was grabbing the camera, and uh, yeah, just dropped her in right there. It's pretty cool. We're gonna go back, <laughs> grab the rod and uh, see if we can get a few more before we leave. We'll move us forward. There we freaking go. Nice work. This is a fishing rod that was in the water. So awesome. But we got it back. <laughs> there you go. All right. All right. Now back to the fishing. Oh, oh boy. Be the right species. It's not. It's a decent bluegill, though. It's a decent bluegill, though. Mm -hmm. Man, we cannot get the right bite. We are catching fish, which is still better than not catching fish. But I want to catch another crappie. Oh 
my god. I don't even believe it at this point. But we have found another crappie. We have lost, I don't know, two, three, four, five crappies. But finally we landed another one. They are absolutely buried in the weeds, which is the main problem because we have no way to get in the weeds and they're definitely not coming out. I mean, you might be able to get lucky and get one right on the edge, um, but it's it's been a struggle. Seems like if you get it in front of them, they will eat. It's just getting it to that point. But we got another one. We know they're here. Just gotta find a way to catch them. How are we feeling? Ah, had such high hopes, came out and got a hold of that one really nice fish early. Well, we caught some nice fish, just really wanted to put a clinic on them today. And I think with the cold front, just made it a little bit more difficult than we thought it was gonna be. Like I said, caught some really nice fish, but we do gotta get going back. So we are kayaking back to the landing and we'll see you guys when we get to the truck. All right, you guys, we have made it back to shore, got the kayak up by the truck. Man, what a freaking grind of a day. Um, I know you guys are gonna see the finished product to this and you're gonna be like, you know, you guys did actually pretty good, which we didn't do terrible. I mean, we caught some decent bluegills. We caught some crappies. I had that really nice crappie. Caught a few bass, overall really peaceful, great day. It's just hard when you have the expectations to come here and catch a hundred crappies. Like my dad texted me last week, which is why we were at this lake, which was always in the back of our mind. Um, is he a better fisherman than me? Maybe, or it could just be the day, which it is a cold front, so it is what it is. But like I said, we're back at the truck and we're gonna start packing everything up here. Well, like Nick said, it was a grind out there, but we had a good time doing it. We're gonna try and stay on a more consistent upload schedule as we go through the end of summer into fall. We would like to be getting out at least one video a week. Is it gonna happen? I can't promise anything, but guys, we've been on the grind this summer. A lot of unfortunate musky fishing that you know just didn't quite have enough to film a full episode for you guys. Uh, some walleye trips as well that we caught some fish but just didn't feel like it was good enough to upload. So here we are, we're out here. Guys, we've got a drone. We're up here in God's country. We're just enjoying it. Today was just getting out here and having some fun, going back to our roots and that's exactly what we did. So had a good time and we'll probably be back. Cold front days kind of suck, but we had a blast. So if you guys enjoyed, make sure to slap that thumbs up button for us. We'd really appreciate that. If you guys are new to the channel, as always, make sure to subscribe because we've got a ton of content coming to you guys this fall and especially this winter once ice fishing begins. Like Nick was saying earlier, if you guys want to check out anything on the PC Fun website, we will have that linked down below. Again, it's code NBEdits18 at checkout. Save yourself some money, pick up some new gear. We will see you guys on the next one. Tight lines from NBEdits. <laughs>